Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jenny and Vlog. So uh, past couple of episodes, we've been talking about the API solutions of Anthropic Cloud. And uh, specifically, we talked about uh, how to invoke a simple API call such as Hello Cloud. And uh, how do you do tool calling, right? Uh, here, get customer info. It's one of the tools uh, that we talked about before. Uh, that's just a custom Python function. And uh, in practice, this can point to a database endpoint, things like that. And we also talked about structure output, right? How do you work with identity based model to set up structure output so that you can ensure that your response has the important information so that downstream in the code, the post processing could be easier. So uh, with that all being said, this episode, we're gonna dive in to talk about how do you create a multi-tool chat manager, right? Uh, it's essentially a giant combination of everything we talked about before, uh, but now it's wrapped in uh, one function or uh, one class object, something like that. So uh, to get things started, uh, let's talk about uh, just, you know, get some API calls in here, right? Let's install Wikipedia. Uh, it's an API call, do some Wikipedia search. For example, you can say Superman, right? Superman. Uh, and then it's going to say Superman is a superhero created by writer Jerry Siegel uh, and artist Joe Shuster, things like that. And uh, there's a bunch of information here. We're limiting to 500 characters just for this particular run of the cell block of code. And uh, that's why it gets copped off here. Uh, but in reality, this article is very long. Right? It's a giant article from Wikipedia. So uh, we have the function. We know that this API call is running. It's working. And uh, let's take a look at the tool. So we need to create a get article tool calling. And this is a schema of that tool calling. So the tool is get article. And the name here for the schema, it's article search tool. And then there's a couple of properties here just to describe uh, when in the conversation should this tool be used. OK, great. Uh, so now let's install Anthropic. Let's get the API key in there. Uh, and then you can ask another question, right? Who won the 2024 Masters tournament? OK, that is a question that maybe it's not just normal chatting. It includes some historical information that maybe Wikipedia is a good usage here. So let's take a look at the content. The content actually says, OK, I have a plan. I'm going to look up information in the 2024 Masters Tournament and find out who won. And the name here is get article. And the type here is to use. Great. We now know that we need to use a tool. So previously, we talked about uh, this gives you the plan. This gives you the strategy. Right? It's a thinking process. But it hasn't called a tool yet, right? not yet. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to take this information and we're going to actually execute that Python function. Um, but you know, let's take this step at a time. right? Let's append the response. So the message has all that information. And then you can probably even check out tool name and input, things like that, if you want to. Like here, we already printed out the uh, information here for this tool usage. And uh, the information is correct, right? 2024 Masters Tournament. And that's exactly the information that the user is seeking. Great. Uh, now let's actually run the tool, right? So if this name is called, uh, let's get the article. Uh, so this will physically run that function. It will physically run that Python function uh, that we defined above with uh, the tool calling here, wikipedia.search. Great. So uh, once this is ran, we have the Wikipedia result, right? We have this result. Uh, and as you probably imagine, it's a giant article, right? Uh, we're going to limit to 500 characters uh, just so that we can read a little bit of this thing uh, so that we know that it's an actual API call, right? So done, right? The result is there. Now we need to append this into the body of the message. So how it works is uh, we append this to two response. And then we append the two responses. You can see here is a giant thing. Uh, and then we append that to the message. Now the message becomes giant. And that's exactly the information that we need, right? So now we can then send this message back and make a follow-up API call. So the follow-up API call is going to give us a follow-up response. Uh, and then that gives us the 
actual answer, right? Ah, based on the Wikipedia article summary, uh, Scotty Scheffler won the 2024 Masters Tournament, things like that. Great. So that is how things work. That is the logic. Now, uh, what need to happen is uh, we need a module for a uh, question answering, right? Uh, and this module is essentially you can think about that as a Python function. Okay, uh, so the function sends a question to call API and handles the tool calling inside of the function, make a request of the article searches, uh, make a request of the API call uh, if the API call is required, uh, and then provides uh, the content back from the tool usage, append that to the message body, and then provides it back to the claw for a final answer. Uh, so that's the logic here. Uh, we talked about that in the previous two episodes, uh, so I'm not going to repeat a whole lot of that, but essentially, uh, that's how it works. So uh, here, uh, question, right? Question realized there's a tool used, uh, and then let's actually uh, grab the tool, right? Here, actually grab the tool, uh, get the response back from the tool calling, wiki result, append it back, make another API call, get the final answer. Uh, so let's try again. Who won the 2024 F1 Australian Grand Prix? And here's the answer, great. Great, so we know that this is working. Now, let's get this into a multi tool chat manager uh, so that we know that, that essentially we can talk to it with a conversation. So that's what uh, this giant script is doing. It's a module that manages conversation with the Claw API uh, and using the uh, customized tools that's defined in the Python environment. So here we have a couple of class objects uh, that's inherited from ABC abstract method uh, to help us execute the tool. Uh, and then here's the article search, uh, which carry on uh, the actual function. Uh, and then here is the claw chat manager class object, right? So initiates uh, with client model, max tokens, things like that. Uh, and then it has all these bells and whistles built behind the scene as methods of this function. For example, register the handler of a specific tool. A get history is uh, to help us to get a complete conversation history, append history, uh, it means that you concatenate the history uh, to the entire history body uh, so that the history gets longer and longer, right? Clear history is if you want to uh, basically omit all of the history that you've had, right? You can manage that here as well. Uh, and then uh, you can also handle the tools. So all that bells and whistles here, all the logic is built uh, behind the scene. Uh, and then in the end, you can invoke the chat, right? The invoke the chat is exactly what we talked about before, right? You send a question to Claude, uh, it handles the tool calling, things like that, get a response back, uh, and then return the final answer. Uh, so all that's built behind the scene. Uh, and then uh, down here, we can uh, then uh, have example usage uh, to demonstrate the class object. So uh, once this is all defined, uh, let me show you how it works. So the chat manager is basically what we just defined above, the create chat manager example, and let's have a conversation. What is quantum computing? Uh, and he says, based on the Wikipedia article, I can provide you with a comprehensive explanation of quantum computing, things like that. So here, before uh, this output, uh, you already know that we need to use the tool, get article, right? That's why it says it here, right? Claw wants to use the tool. It ran the tool, get a response back, and enhanced or augment uh, this final response. Right, so that's kind of how this works, uh, and then uh, you can then scroll down uh, to pretty much see the whole thing. You get the idea, right? And here you can also add a system message, be concise in your response, things like that. Uh, so we're now returning a whole giant article. So that's pretty much it for the highlight of this episode. Where you can wrap all that in one class object uh, with all the bells and whistles. And on top of all that, we said that this is a multi-tool chat manager, right? multi two means more than one. So on top of the article search, you can also have web search in there, right? So in addition to Wikipedia, uh, you can also just do an internet search. Wouldn't that be amazing, right? Uh, so this function uh, gets all the tools in there one by one, uh, and then manages the client, uh, and then actually uh, run the client with all the tools. And this is the multi-tool, right? There are two tools here, right? There are more than one tools here. So let me show you how that works. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, we need the Wikipedia API call. Uh, this is a custom tool that we defined above, right? 
And we can also get SERP API in here. Of course, that requires API key, uh, but that gives us another framework to search information from the internet using SERP API, right? Uh, of course, it will require some sort of an input schema, the parameters query, uh, things like the parameters query, uh, for example, location, API key, things like that. So once that's done, you can test it out. You can say, hey, search Tesla, and you will do a Google search to see uh, what's happening. Now, we all know this is live information because it starts with Model X all-wheel drive starts with 91K. Uh, which is a relatively new release of a new car. So you get the idea. This introduces a new tool. Let's get a new tool in there uh, by throwing the search SERP API function inside of this web search function to register a tool. And then we can ask it one more time. What's the latest news about Tesla here? Uh, let's just read this carefully. It says register this tool, get article, register this tool, web search, two tools are in this manager, Claude knows that this is a web search tool, right? It's not get article, it's a web search. It searches with the keyword Tesla news. It searches with the keyword Tesla latest news, and then it gets a response back, and then it augments its final response. So that is the logic that's going on here, and that's why uh, this create multi-tool chat manager uh, is actually a strong indication. It's actually a robust framework to help you manage the workflow of multiple tool calling as well as invoking different tools. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.